the experiences that a military officer or a military NCO bring to the corporate world are remarkably relevant. Whether it be in the sales, the operations, the engineering, or even the supply chain world, the day-to-day -day operations that we have in a suit and tie are not that far abridged from the ones we have in camouflage. In the corporate leadership world, we have a huge diversity not only of peoples, but we also have a large diversity of age groups right now. You have millennials, boomers, Gen Xers, and it's a huge challenge for leadership in the military as well as for the civilian sector. But think about this, where your V-level, C-level general managers are dealing with up-and-coming millennials and baby boomers who share information but in different styles of learning it. The military is the same way. I mean, 250,000 people, you have boomers, Gen Xers, millennials, and they're all working together in an international organization. So there's a lot of building cohesive team themes in the corporate world as you would see in the military and vice versa. Each one of these military leaders in some form or fashion has had to follow, they've had to lead, and that means that they've had to provide a clear commander's intent or in the corporate world, a leader's intent. And that's what really helps out the corporate sector. We can Hollywoodize the military and say, well, there's always risk involved in war. But the reality of the situation is, hey, do we try out this new equipment? Do we change the schedule? The, the idea of accepting prudent risk, calculated risk, is day one in the military, even when you sign up. But the reality of the situation is, again, the corporate world likes the ability for somebody to accept risk without just being wild about it. And that's, again, a military leader or military member's foundation. It's also part of the mission command system. In the military, you have to have initiative. It's not just chaotic bravado. You have to be disciplined. You have to know when to take it and when not to. You have to look forward 20, 30 minutes, maybe 20, 30 days and see the trends. So whether it's camouflaged or corporate, the idea of taking the initiative in a disciplined way is as much part of mission command as it is manufacturing or corporate America. One of the other major foundations of the analogy between military mission command and corporate leadership is use mission orders. And the mission orders sounds very stringent or strict, but it basically is business plan. It's a concise but not overall encompassing micromanaging concept that a senior leader or a mid leader pushes down one or two levels. In the example of the military, there's no way that as a company commander or battalion commander or even a a ship's captain that you can be everywhere at all times. So you create a baseline shared understanding and sometimes it's a formal document because you need that that has parameters on what to do, what not to do. So a mission order or a baseline business plan in a corporate world are the same thing. Shared understanding or building a shared concept and education line or baseline is so important that in the military it's life or death but in some cases it's really just right time, right place, right people.